welcome to another melting pot tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to um, roll and print into clay. So for today I'm just going to use a 100 gram bag of clay So I'm only going to do one. If you've got a bigger bag, like this one here, you can do more. Just put it right out of there. Unwrap it. <clears throat> and there's my clay. So remember that when you're using your clay, as soon as you take it out of your packaging, um, it's going to start to dry out. So we don't have to work really quickly, but it helps um, to not take too much time. So always plan before you start. So I'm just going to make it into a ball again and roll it up. And then I've got my tea towel. So here I've got a tea towel, a straw, a knife and a rolling pin. Um, tea towels like this, so not fluffy ones, just so that when you're rolling into it, um, it doesn't leave too much of a fluffy print in your clay. Or you can use cling film, but this just means that we don't have to throw it away. So I'm going to pop that in the middle of my <coughs> very gorgeous tea towel. This is my crafty tea towel. Um, and then just give it a squish down. I can see where it is on the tea towel and then I'm just going to roll roll it out. Trying to keep it symmetrical. Okay, this just means that it won't stick to your rolling pin. Um, and you can always do the last couple of rolls without a cover. So I want mine quite thick, so that's all I'm going to do to mine. <coughs> then I'm going to take a cup, so I've got one here. I'm going to pop that on top. And just cut around. I'm going for round, but you can have, you can use any shape. disc I'm going to pop my extra clay back into the packet in case I want to add any little bits to it later so it doesn't dry out. Okay so I'm going to pop my mug back there. Now I've got where I've cut but it's a bit uneven so I'm just going to smooth smooth the edges Because it's flat, um, it's probably better to keep whatever you're using to roll it on underneath it so that you can lift it up without having to peel it off a surface. So that's my disc done. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put a hole um, where I want it to hang from. So I'm going to pop my hole just there. Okay, so you want your hole to be just far enough away from the edge of the disc so that you're not going to risk snapping it when you put the hole in. So don't put your hole sort of too close to the disc. Put it one hole away from the edge and that's there. That's lovely. So now I'm going to print into this um, maybe some stars, but I've got a special guest for my main print of this. So I'm just going to go and get her. Okay, so I'm going to get you a treat. This is Flo, who I'm going to lure in with biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> like this one? Good girl. You have it up here? Have it there. 
So to do a paw print, I'm just going to hold one of her paws and I'm going to put it right in front of her and I'm just going to hold my hand over the top of it to keep it down. So Flo, can we do this first? Thanks. She should be used to this by now, but she she really isn't. Ready? Good girl. Go down, go down. Yeah, good girl. Ready? Come in. Well done. Here you go. Good girl. So, there oh, is my paw print. That's where it's around. We've even got some of her little um, hairs in there. Oh. So, around this. I think I'm just going to use the straw again just to do some circles. Um, so I'm just going to print that in. Like little polka dots. But again, just have a look around your kitchen and see what, what you've got around. Um, you might have something better than a straw. I like, I like polka dots. The first print that I did with Flo had polka dots on it. so. That is really good. I'm really happy with that. Um, and now I'm going to leave that to dry and paint it when it's ready. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for um, hangers and printing into hangers. I've used an animal, but you don't have to. Um, it's all about um, having that shape to then print into and having something that you can hang on your wall. So you could even print letters into it. You could use these sorts of things as baubles for a Christmas tree. Um, just make sure that you've got a nice clean tea towel, a nice clean shape to cut around and a rolling pin. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this mini tutorial on hanging decorations. Thank you. Bye.